are going to learn about the importance of local government, why we need local government and the amendments of 73 and 74 in the Indian Constitution. First of all, let's understand what is local government. Government at the village and district level is local government. It is closest to the common people. It involves the day-to-day -day life and problems of ordinary citizens. It believes that local knowledge and local interest are essential ingredients for democratic decision making and also necessary for efficient and people-friendly administration. Democracy is about meaningful participation. It is also about accountability. Strong and vibrant local government ensure both active participation and purposeful accountability. Now the question arises why we need local government. Because common people are more familiar with their local government than with the government at the state or national level. They are also more concerned with what local government does or has failed to do. Strengthening local government is like strengthening democratic processes. Self-governing village communities existed in India from the earliest times in the form of sabhas. In the course of time, these village bodies took the shape of panchayats. Now in modern times, elected local government bodies were created after 1882. Lord Ripon, who has the Viceroy of India at that time, took the initiative in creating these bodies. Government of India Act 1919 village panchayats were established in a number of provinces. This trend continued after the Government of India Act 1935. Panchayats were looked upon as instruments of decentralization and participatory democracy. When the constitution was prepared, the subject of local government was assigned to the states. In 1993, Two constitutional amendment acts were passed to recognize local self-government at the gross root level. 73rd amendment made the following provisions. The reservation of seats for women, SCSTs and OVCs. Due to this reservation, a number of women have occupied even the position of Sarpanch and Adhyaksh. Hence, more than 80,000 women Sarpanch has been declared elected so far. All the bases in the Gram Panchayat covers a village or group of villages. At the apex in the Zilla Panchayat covering the entire rural area of the district. The amendment also made a provision for the mandatory creation of the Gram Sabha. The Gram Sabha would comprise of all the members. Now, all the three levels of Panchayati Raj institutions are elected directly by the people. If the state government dissolves the Panchayat before the end of its five-year term, fresh elections must to be held. One-third of the positions in all Panchayat institutions are reserved for women. What is the urban area? The census of India defines an urban area a minimum population of 5,000 and at least 75% of male working population. As per the 2001 census, nearly 28% of India's population lives in urban areas. At the provision of 73rd Amendment, the, for the urban people, the 74th Amendment have created uniformity in the structure of Panchayati Raj and Nagar Palika institutions across the country. The presence of these local institutions is by itself a significant achievement and would create no atmosphere and platform for people's participation. I hope with the help of this video, you are able to understand the growth of local government in India. Thank you for watching this.